And happy Friday to all of us here in the Architects. Meteorologist Jesse Kelly here live and with us. And I hope everyone is having a fantastic Friday. Have a lovely afternoon to all the Architects. Although we are beginning to see a few more clouds out there, we're also beginning to see slightly warmer temperatures compared to what we have seen for the last few afternoons. Temperatures are again feeling pretty nice for late July. 90 degrees right now to Marshall, 91 degrees in Mansfield, 87 degrees in Minden, looking at 85 degrees up towards Texas County and upper 80s here in Cross Streetport. And again, not seeing much on radar. And that's all occurs to lots of dry air and also lots of high pressure over the region. But high pressure will continue to work its way further off towards the north and east. And again, we'll begin to pick up more of a south wind, which will begin to increase our moisture. And speaking of moisture, and we're starting to see some uh, thunderstorms developing down towards the south as the stationary front is slowly working its way off towards the north so we'll be seeing again an increased amount of moisture which will eventually lead to some scattered thunderstorms over the next couple of days beginning on the day for your Sunday. So Robin Tilly Future Cash goes for tonight a quiet evening with temperatures falling back down into the middle to upper 60s seeing some 70s towards the south of Shreveport. Again, looking pretty nice for your Saturday. We'll call it partly cloudy kind of skies. Now this model here is suggesting that we could see a few showers out there. I'm thinking that we should remain rain free for Saturday but will I be surprised to see a shower or two? No, but I think we'll see slightly better rain chances for your Sunday as we continue to moisten up the atmosphere. So again, we'll see another uh, rain free day for your Saturday. Then we'll see more of those typical scattered showers and thunderstorms along the sea breeze working its way into the region for your Sunday. So we'll see temperatures through the 80s and 90s for your Sunday. And that, the chance of thunderstorms will continue for the next couple of days, pretty much throughout most of next week, as we have an upload of disturbance working its way into the region, which will lead to some lift and also provide a uh, chance of showers and thunderstorms for Monday and your Tuesday all the way through next week. The thunderstorms will pop up with daytime heating as soon as the sun sets. Thunderstorms will begin to fall apart. We'll see that pattern repeat itself. For Wednesday and Thursday, but we're also noticing that the ridge of high pressure is going to begin to shift slightly to the east. So we'll be seeing those temperatures warming back up into the middle 90s and also seeing the increase of humidity. We'll see more of the typical summertime pattern. We'll see those temperatures pretty much every day into the lower 90s, lows into the 70s, and of course seeing those heat index values with the triple digits. So again, next week, make sure you're practicing heat safety as we will see a decent chance of seeing after thunderstorms beginning Monday all the way through the rest of next week. And rainfall amounts, not expecting a lot of rain, depending on where some of those heavy downpours may show up. We may see in some of the heavier uh, spots of rain, maybe between one to one and a half inches, but all in all, most of us should see rainfall amounts very light, anywhere between about a quarter to about half an inch of rain, but most of us should be around an inch because see some higher totals, again, depending on where some of the heavy rain sets up. But for tonight, though, see those temperatures falling back down to the middle to upper 16s, again, about a six degrees below normal for this time of the year, but I'll be changing as we get into the weekend and to next week. Tomorrow, we'll see a high of 93 degrees, partly covered with skies are turning back to normal. We'll see winds light out of the southeast at 5 to 10 miles an hour. And next seven days shows temperatures into the 90s for the next couple of days, so our best chance of rain on Monday and Tuesday because they upload disturbance. And then once we get past Tuesday, we'll see more of a typical summertime pattern with a daily chance of seeing a few afternoon thunderstorms with highs into the lower to middle 90s with lows back into the 70s. And the same thing can be said for Texarkana. You'll see temperatures into the 80s and 90s with your best chance of rain on Monday. And then we'll see more of a typical summertime pattern with temperatures every day into the lower to middle 90s. Lows at night into the 60s and 70s. So all in all, looking pretty good for the weekend. But we will see thunderstorms return to the forecast for next week.